This is where I want to be. 54 foot of water. We are directly in the main river channel of the Tennessee River, the old riverbed. And we're going to drift down these contours. Get my Game Boy hooked up there so I can stay on that ledge. And we're going to be started. Alright, a lot of guys ask me how often I change my baits. Uh, the first drift we made this morning, I put all fresh baits on and we worked them for probably an hour, hour and 15 minutes. We soaked them in the water that long. They probably would catch some fish, but I just feel better if we go ahead now that we're in a new, new spot to uh, put all fresh bait on it. But I guess to answer a lot of, a lot of guys' questions, about an hour, hour and a half, and especially when you move to a new spot. And again, we're wanting big fish, so I'm going to cut big baits. And my preferred presentation method today is going to be a suspended drift, and we're going to control that drift. I like to sling that out there like that and then kind of keep tension while I'm letting it to the bottom on it so uh, so it doesn't, that big bait doesn't start twirling and wrap everything up. By the time it hits the bottom, you just got a big tangled mess. hit bottom. We'll crank it up three or four or five times until we see what they want. Always stay in contact with that sinker, feeling it as it drops down. It'll save you a lot of time from the tangle, like I said. And it hit bottom. Yeah, that sun's getting right now. All right, let's get our drift started. And hopefully we can uh, nail us a big daddy. that have rivers or creeks to run through them. Get on those creek edges or channel edges and drift some baits, suspend some baits over them. And the catfish hopefully will bite your line too. When I leave, there'll be a 60 pounder hit that. Okay guys, again, thanks for watching my videos. Hope uh, you come back and check us out again.